throwing travel mug, large travel mug, so it's 450 grams of clay, uh, because I work on the basis of the same weight of clay in grams as I want it to hold in millilitres, which actually works really well. Once You might need to adjust just how it works depending on how thick you throw, but for me, that's generally without having to think about it while I'm throwing, will be within 10 or so mil finish size. Very useful if you're doing a shop where things are made to order like I am. Uh, so people order a, a given size and then I have to throw the piece to that size rather than just telling them what it is and then they buy that specific one. So I can reasonably consistently turn out pieces the same size and also means that if I'm throwing something like, say, a teapot or if someone wanted a massive mug that could hold a litre, I'd have a pretty good bet that yeah, a kilo will hold about a litre. I don't throw many big things, so I will get less efficient as size goes up. by the cube square law where things get disproportionately more volume than they have surface area as they increase. at throwing big things, it wouldn't hold true. Until I get a bigger kiln, there's not much incentive for it. This is my guide. Those two notches indicate where it needs to be to fit my lids. And that's pretty close. So what I can do is undercut. Bottom. and then shape the walls to just hit it as a fraction, probably one mil less the rim than it needs to be. these on the bats overnight, put a plastic bucket inverted over them so they dry um, a little bit but can't dry fully. They leather hard on the bat and tomorrow it's much easier if they're still on the bat so they can go back on the wheel, trim a small notch in there so that it's got something to grip onto um, and then you can thin down the walls as well because you can access both sides here. There's very little trimming to do once you've wired it off the bat. As long as you time it right, it hasn't dried out so much, you'll get a clean wiring off as well. It's the best system if you've got a studio where you can be in it regularly enough to time it right.